And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you a simple cross engraving effect. You can use that to create kind of like a drawing effect. Let us copy the origin right here. The one on the right is selected. I go to filters, image, paint and draw. And there's the cross engraving filter. It opens this menu. Make sure to check the live preview. I will go over these parameters. At first the length. If you increase it, it gets blurry. If you go down to the max, you've got it fully sharp. In most cases, you want to have a little bit of a blur. Clean up. When you go maximum to the right, you've got idealized results. So it looks more and more like a black and white photo. And when you go to the left, it looks more and more like a drawing. Dilatation and erosion, you can see that both as the opposite of one another. You can use both of these parameters to get rid of details or add them. And the strength, it simply intensifies the parts of the image that you can see. You could always reapply this cross engraving effect, just check the live preview again and you can see what it looks like. But in most cases, it's enough to apply it once. Afterwards, you can just export it like a regular object. And this is how it can create such a simple cross engraving effect in Inkscape. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.